How hard is it to make mashed potato? One, two, Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today is going to be slightly different than the usual. I'm going to be doing a how-to video. I was watching another fellow YouTuber called Matt Sear. If you don't know who he is, then please go check out his channel. I'll link it here and then you'll see it again at the end of the video. In one of his recent videos, he was going through types of people at the supermarket. During that, he mentioned the people that make their own mashed potato. I thought I would do a how-to mashed potato. This whole video sprouted from this comment that I posted on the supermarket video. He did a little tutorial. I'm not even sure if he noticed himself on how to make mashed potato. So I'm going to be following that tutorial and making myself some mashed potato. According to Matt's video, the first step is just get the potatoes. So let's do that. So for hours and hours about the sweet and the sour and how your family is doing okay. Come on now, follow my lead. Come on now, follow my lead. Mm. And there we have it. You may wonder why I chose ready-made mashed potato. When I got to the supermarket, we realized we already had normal potatoes downstairs. So I bought the ready-made mashed potato and thought we could then do a taste test between the two. We all know that Matt is a very big fan of ready-made mashed potato. People are buying ready-made mashed potato. How hard is it to make mashed potato? Let's get rid of the cope and continue the video. We've got our potatoes and the ready-made mash. The question is, what's the next step, Matthew? Put the potatoes in for a little while. This could be tricky. Put the potatoes in for a while. What does that mean? Really had to think for this one. Really wasn't sure where the potatoes had to be put in. But eventually, I think I got there. Okay, so we got our potatoes boiling. Considering they have to be on for a little while, I'm gonna go and do the ready-made mashed potato. Cooking instructions, a little bit easier than Matt's. <laughs> Microwave, 800 watts, three and a half minutes. Bish bash bosh, sorted. The ready-made mashed potato has just finished. According to the packaging, all we've got to do now is, Jesus Christ, a lot. A lot of steam just came out of there. According to the packaging, all we got to do now is stir it together and eat immediately. Let's try that. To be honest, that still looks the same as it did three minutes ago. Nice children's fork. Oh! And there we have it. Ready-made mashed potato. I think it's time for the taste test. Pretty good. Very bland. There's no salt and pepper included or anything. That one actually said to put salt and pepper in it uh, before you boil the water, but pff, who cares? Ready-made mashed potato, pretty good. The homemade potatoes just finished its little while boiling, and I believe the next step is mash them up. Now this sounds more like it. I'm gonna plate this bad boy up and then get some mash. So here we have the homemade potato, been boiled for a while. It seems still quite solid, but we're gonna have to try and mash them up. Let's try the fork from earlier. Oh, God. To be honest, it's bending my fork. I'm gonna try something else. Look what I found, a proper potato masher. This isn't working, so I'm gonna have to find something else. Well, don't you look fun, but I'm gonna hurt myself with that, so let's put that one back. This, on the other hand, looks perfect. This is slowly turning into a how-to basic video. I'm pretty sure the plate's gonna break before the potato does, so plan B. One, two.
It's mashing, it's mashing, it's mashing, it's mashing, it's mashing, it's mashing. Yes! There's actually a bit of potato on my freaking lens. Get off. There we have it. Before we go taste test this, I believe there's one more step. How hard is it to make mashed potato? If you just get the potatoes, put the potatoes in for a little while, mash them up, little bit of butter, lovely stuff. Little bit of butter, lovely stuff. Little bit of butter. Notifications, be quiet. Butterly, butterly. Carefully does it. Little bit of butter, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. We've got the ready-made mashed potato and the homemade mashed potato. We've tasted this one, it tasted like mashed potato. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. This one is the homemade one. If you check out there and here, you can see a black garnish. That's not pepper, it's garnished with my patio. Don't see why that's a problem. Let's dig in. Okay, first thoughts of this is it's just like ice. It even sounds like ice. Let's get some butter, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. On the potato. Oh gosh. I'm now regretting this. It's so hard. Uh oh. Mm -mm. No. Tasted like it was the texture of ice, because it hadn't been boiled for long enough. Had the garnish of my patio, because it wasn't garnished with pepper. It tasted really lumpy, because I definitely didn't mash it enough. My conclusion of the matter is, this stuff made by me is a big no, no. This stuff made by the supermarket and microwaved by me is a big yes. Three minutes, 20 minutes, lovely, disgusting. This wins all the way. My homemade mashed potato is nowhere near what you can get in the supermarket, but I'm nearly 100% sure that if I could actually cook, I would have a different opinion of that. Editing this video has made me realise the amount of times I've actually said the words mashed potato. Thank you for watching. Thanks to Matt Sear for letting me use the clips from his video. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. Go press that red button on his channel. And of course, make sure you do it here as well. See you in the next video.